Hello my fellow gamers, I just want to talk more about what's going on in the gaming industry today. So today I want to talk more about sunk costs and how gamers are getting manipulated and companies are lying about what they're doing with their games. <clears throat> so there's many examples of this, but I think the biggest one is Anthem. And what people are doing is that people want to see Anthem like thrive and be good and I already said this in, in a video before but I knew they were going to fail like EA is this about a publisher by a way where I knew they were going to turn at some point and this was the point um, but they had so many broken promises and people bought this game and they couldn't really get a refund for it so they decided to stick with the game hoping it would get better but here's the thing wake up people and listen games will never get better only like three four years down the line they will finally fix it no man's sky is the perfect example they made a broken game and then they just decided to fix it three four years down the line when no one's been playing it and then it rebranded itself it's, they finally fixed it when they had enough money <clears throat> and that's just wrong um so the definition of a sunk cost, especially in business, since I am a business major, a sunk cost is a cost that has already been incurred and cannot be recovered. So when you put your money into a game, you want to reach the full potential of that game and get the full benefit of your money with that game. But the thing is, these games are not worth the full $60 or $80, whatever you paid for it. They're not worth it unless you get it for 5 maybe $10. That's probably the play the the how much it's worth when you play it. It's not worth a full sixty dollars, and that's what people are sinking into these games. They're sinking money and time that are just not there. You probably now I estimate with video games you probably should get around for every dollar you spend in a, on a video game is the amount of hours you should be enjoying. So if you spend like $60 on the video game but only get like 8 hours of enjoyment, that's not worth it. Um, that's why I've come to realize is that these games are manipulated and lying to its fan base, believing that you can get 60 hours of gameplay from this game. I think from Anthem, from what I can tell, the story is lackluster. You get nothing with it and it's just not worth the game. So I want to urge the people out there is that be careful what you're buying because these games and companies are going to be lying to you thinking you're going to get the full value of the game when you're really not. <clears throat> you're going to get a very sliver of it. You're going to get a mom momentary short moment of happiness when you buy and play these games. And it's just, this is what I'm talking about of some cost. They're not worth the money. And so this is what you have to be careful for. When games come out, um, and I'll discuss more on this about Borderlands 3 and any other games coming out, is that you have to be careful about these companies. They're going to be lying to you. They're going to be manipulating the people into what they, they think they're going to be buying. And so I know you want to get the game the day you really, but it's just not worth it. And so when you buy a game, make sure you get the full effect. <clears throat> and... I just don't think that a $60 video game, new AAA video game, is not, not going to satisfy you to your full extent because you already put all your money into it. Now maybe later down the line when people are playing it, maybe if you're still playing it, maybe you'll get it. Um, but I just don't think it's worth it at all. So I just want to say that some costs are dangerous and that game companies are doing these nowadays and you have to be very careful because you're going to be wasting your money on many video games and I'm telling you just be careful and wait till the video game comes out maybe a week maybe two weeks afterwards and then if you still like the game buy it that's why I say or if it's any PlayStation or Sony game or Nintendo game wait PlayStation or Nintendo or any like um, sorry, Naughty Dog game, go for it, because they are, they are reliable companies. Now, Naughty Dog, they haven't released a game, but that's because 
they are working on their Last of Us 2 game, and they do an amazing job. Their credibility is great, and if I don't see a video game for many years, that's a good sign. Because that means they're still working on it, and they're trying to do the best they can. So, yeah, so just don't sink your money into a game that you're not going to be enjoying. So that's all I have to say about this. See you guys. Love you guys. Peace.